I once ate a Twix with the wrapper on it. Twix chocolate bars rock. They rock no matter what and no matter where. Twix are so awesome, but surely there is a whole lot you did not know about this tasty chocolate bar. Here is a list of the top 10 untold truths of Twix. That, that, that is a cookie. And we all know that Twix is the only candy bar with the cookie crunch. Twix can be used as a straw. What does it all mean? Am I just grasping at straws? Wait. You heard right. Yes, Twix can be used as a straw. Not only will this make drinking milk or chocolate milk amazing, but it will also make the Twix even more delicious. The cookie part of the bar will soak up the liquid and become kind of mushy, but not too mushy, and you will get to eat an explosion of something between a chocolate bar, cookie, and glass of milk. If you are not a milk drinker but want to take advantage of this succulent, unnamed Twix straw sensation, then you can use the Twix straw on whichever milk alternative you like best. Honestly, whatever you suck up through the Twix straw will yield epic results. It will be like a mushy, creamy, chocolatey firework in your mouth. You could even do this with hot liquid, like coffee or tea or hot chocolate, but then you will have a much quicker explosion. You may only get to use the Twix straw once before it becomes a big mess. That's okay, though. This should not impede you from giving hot liquid a go. Use your Twix as a straw and delight in the result that is so magnificent, you will wonder why you have not been doing this right from the start. Check this out. I just invented it. Super straw. The meaning of Twix. There is no meaning to life anymore! Did you know that Twix were invented in the UK in 1967? In the United Kingdom, there are many names for things that differ from the American term. The trunk of a car is the boot. The bathroom is the loo. Twix mean twin Bix. What is a Bix? Apparently, it is shorthand for biscuit which in this case means cookie. So that means that the name Twix technically means twin cookie. Cookie! Ah, oh, he wants a cookie. Oh, I love the Muppets. This is so cool. Doesn't it make you look at the chocolate bar a little bit differently? Like, when you separate the pieces, you have two identical pieces. Well, somewhat identical because no twin is exactly the same. It's cool to know a little bit more history about the name of the chocolate bar. It can be pretty useful information if you want an icebreaker on a date. Don't take facts for granted. People love them, almost as much as they love Twix. What kind of girl do you think I am? Oh. Left Twix versus right Twix. Well, I was gonna suggest we merge. Okay, okay, okay. Some of you may know about this already, and some of you may not, but there is a huge portion of the internet devoted to talking about the left Twix versus right Twix debacle. This was an ad campaign that never truly took off that talks about the left side of the bar and the right side of the bar in sort of a sibling rivalry kind of way. At the end of the left Twix versus right Twix commercials, the announcer asks us to pick a side, thereby putting you in a camp with all of the other left or right siders. This would therefore create a rivalry within the Twix community. A fun, rather hilarious rivalry, but a rivalry nonetheless. I technically don't keep really keep friends from right Twix, but... Perhaps Twix figured that they would generate some fun publicity with this. Perhaps they asked this question themselves and wanted to bring it to the people. Which kind of Twix eater were you? Which side were you most prone to eating? Another reason this left Twix versus right Twix thing has continued to thrive on the web could be because of the inherent desire to pick sides, compare, and assemble with others while creating a divide. Pop, pop! <laughs> pop, pop! <laughs> Celebrity endorsements. But you endorse everything. In fact, this endorsement contract comes from your line of legal forms. Like so many other products, the yummy, scrumptious, chocolatey Twix bar has been endorsed by celebrities. The reason we are bringing this up as a fun fact is that you may not know that there even were celebrity endorsements for Twix. Sometimes you may miss commercials just because you have your ad blocker on, or you choose to walk away from the screen when the ad plays. You're gonna actually go where the media is advertising. Sometimes you record 
record your shows on TV and skip through the commercials. Or you watch a streaming service that doesn't have commercials at all. Which means you could totally have missed out on your favorite celebrity endorsing Twix. So here are some of the celebrity endorsements. There is the oh-so-dreamy Usher, the oh-so-dreamy Nick Lachey, and the oh-so-dreamy Bow Wow. Boy oh boy, does Twix have a thing with dreamy looking fellas or what? Hello ladies, look at your man. Now back to me, now back at your man, now back to me. Twix gets down with coffee all the time. If you two were meant to be together, Twix and coffee? Absolutely! We now know that Twix can be used as a straw in coffee, but Twix can also be eaten dipped in coffee. Twix can be eaten with coffee. Twix and coffee go together like green eggs and ham. No, I do not like them, Sam I am. Did you know that the Twix and coffee match even happens within the bar itself? There is a Twix Java, Twix Cappuccino, and Twix Creamy Latte. Twix and coffee are meant to be together, but they also work when they are apart. Kind of like you and your significant other. Like you both work on your own accord, but you are meant to be together. Aww. Aww, wasn't that just the cutest analogy? It's almost as cute as the love affair between Twix and coffee. So wholesome, so intense, so delicious. There are many ways to enjoy Twix and coffee together. You just need to pick one. You're a talking Pikachu with no memories who's addicted to caffeine. I could stop whenever I want. Twix can be festive. It's a festivist miracle! <laughs> Whether you want to show off at Halloween or Christmas or any other holiday, you can. Because Twix is ready with themed flavors and shapes that complement your festive needs. There are Twix ghosts and Twix Santas. There are Twixmas bars and Twix Twix with gingerbread flavor. Eat me! <laughs> there have been sugar cookie Twix and even Twix minis so that you can stuff them into stockings or drop them into trick or treater bags. Twix are versatile little bars, so enjoy them in any shape and flavor at whichever holiday you desire. You know, you can even use Twix bars in your very own holiday cooking. Crush them up and use them in a Twix square or Twix pie. The recipes are out there. You just need to go for it. If you do not want to try your hand at cooking with Twix, it is completely understandable. Once you start cooking with Twix, you cannot go back. Twix are so delicious that they invade your kitchen and your life. If you serve them at a potluck, everyone will be asking for more. You won't be welcome back unless you make that special Twix thing you made that one time. If you make a Twix thing at home, well then you will be harassed by your family to make it again and again and again. People love Twix. That is the truth. And Twix love the people, so they try to be festive when you are festive. So you can eat them and play with them at your heart's desire. Must you play with your food? Twix Soft Center Cookies. Who told you you can eat my cookies? When we say Twix, you say chocolate bar. Yes, correct. But did you know that there are also Twix cookies? They are called Twix Soft Centers, and they are so yummy and so irresistible that you will find you have eaten the whole bag before you can say left Twix versus right Twix. The Twix Soft Centers obviously have soft centers. That being said, there are some reviews that complain about them not being all that soft. Put that cookie down! But this is not the fault of the Twix soft centers. This could be a storage issue. Or perhaps they were opened and then not sealed again in a proper manner and became hard. The Twix soft centers are soft. So soft. Yet so hard. They can also be made softer, should they harden due to outside circumstances, by placing them in the microwave for a few seconds. Alternatively, you can also place them in the oven for a very little bit so that they heat right up and melt a little. Doesn't that sound so mouthwatering? Doesn't it make you want to have people over so you can proudly pull your perfect Twix soft centers from the oven and serve them warm? Doesn't it make you want to leave them by the tree for Santa? The Twix soft centers are delightful. You might even need to hunt them down on Amazon or something. They are out there though, waiting to be purchased and eaten, so they can complete their cookie destiny of making your tummy happy. Ah, I touched one! The captain's touched one! Yard of Twix Challenge. It's got a backyard, a front yard. I, the place is like Yard City. 
Fun fact, there is a Yard of Twix challenge. You can watch contestants on YouTube and you can even play at home. Warning, if you do this challenge, you may get sick, you may vomit, you may regret your choice, or you may have the most glorious moment of your life. Now, there is a pretty big Twix bar out there that is said to be two pounds and a full yard. The challenge is obviously for you to eat the whole thing. Can you do it? Are you willing to try? Do you think if you do, it may ruin your love for Twix? Or maybe, just maybe, it will heighten it? The Yard of Twix challenge is a great way to eat your favorite chocolate bar while simultaneously showing your friends how much of a delightful glutton you are. If you feel the need to vomit, just breathe through your nose, deep and long breaths. While we're not recommending this, surely it will all be okay. Like, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Twix loves to cameo. Tell him to get a Twix bar from the vending machine. The Twix chocolate bar cameos on TV shows all the time. In the Netflix original series Dark, the Twix bar is part of the plot line, specifically the change from the name Raider to Twix. Twix also makes an appearance on the Netflix show Orange is the New Black. I could win a Twix. I want to make an educated guess and in a Seinfeld episode in which George Costanza accuses a mechanic of being a thief and stealing his Twix. What do we learn from Twix's cameos? Twix is the only candy with the cookie crunch. <laughs> we learn that even TV loves Twix. When Twix chocolate bars show up in your TV shows like this, it is almost like subliminal messaging. You are watching the show and enjoying the plot while simultaneously thinking about going to buy a Twix. That being said, Twix being in TV shows like that also shows us a few other things, like the fact that Twix has a killer marketing team. It is no surprise that Twix was chosen to be a TV star. We all love Twix. Now, go treat yourself to a Twix. You deserve it. Twix has too much coconut. No, there's no coconut! Some YouTuber allegedly made the biggest Twix bar ever. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Gory's World. To see how dedicated people are to Twix, a YouTuber allegedly made the biggest Twix bar ever. The video was uploaded to YouTube in 2017 and has over a million views. Whether or not this is, in fact, the biggest Twix bar ever could be up for debate, but there are a few cool things about this fact that make it worth talking about. Good lord! I'm getting a reading of over 40 megafonzies. First of all, the guy made the big Twix at home. This means we can all try to bake a Twix. That's pretty great news. The second neat thing about this big Twix is that it is taking something we already love and giving us even more of it. As he supersized the Twix in the video, you could feel the love for the chocolate bar also growing in size. When we are in love, we say corny things. And by goodness, we are in love with Twix. I want it all. The terrifying lows, the dizzying highs, the creamy middles. Go ahead and tap on one of our other great videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.